and here I am again and quickly what I was showing you there is that background paper I cut out all the green minty aqua teal colors and then kind of fiddled around with them until I came up with this design because I thought it kind of looked Africa and tribal and the photograph is of a mummy elephant with her two babies they're obviously obviously two different generations there but that little one is really teeny tiny super cute but I'm sure you know you see you're probably not bored with me going on about how super cute they are I think I'm just boring myself because I say the same thing over and over again in my videos how amazing and how super cute and how wonderful I need more uh, I was gonna say expletives but they're, <laughs> they're not expletives <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm thinking of adjectives there we go I need more adjectives in in these videos I think I I think I think I need to swallow a th th ah that would be so much funnier if I could actually <laughs> say what I wanted to say I think I need to swallow a thesaurus then I could magically think up all the words that I need so elephants are pretty common in the Kruger National Park the, these particular ones we saw up at up in the place called olifants. I think it's just olifants. Olifants. There's an olifants river there, and then there's a there's a sort of camp, olifants camp as well, rest camp. Now olifants is elephant in Afrikaans. It's probably I don't know, would it be close to German? What do Germans say elephants are? You read? What do Germans say elephants are? Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you to tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, so getting back to the elephants. They are, there's, there are a lot of them, so you, you're pretty much guaranteed seeing, seeing them when you're in the park. I know they are one of the big five, but uh, I can say 99% of the time you're bound to see one. And I love them. They're, they're really awesome animals. They are huge. You, you actually don't have any idea how big they are until you drive past one you know which is right next to the road or in some cases in the road because they don't the animals there it's they don't see cars they don't see roads it's all just one big environment for them oh yes and I I am having an issue with that chipboard every time I pull one off the backing stays behind but I waffled on about that in a different video, so I shan't do that now. So yeah, so the elephants don't, well, all the animals don't actually, they're not cognizant of us at all. So when you are, oh, watch the epic fight, see? <laughs> Expertise could have worked there, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. I don't know whether that, I don't know whether it got damp or something or what the case is, but I'm having major issues with my chipboard. So let's finally finish up with the elephants shall we and the, and the fact that they don't see us. So yeah you'll be driving along and a whole troop, are they troop? Mm. I don't know, what's the collective noun for elephants? Oh I'm sure somebody will tell me. Anyway so you'll be driving along and they will just walk across the road straight in front of you. They don't care, they just doing their own thing these weird car things, meh, they're not interested. <laughs> so yeah, you can have some pretty amazing sightings in the parks by just driving along the road. Yep. Oh, and I, I figured that rub-on worked because again, it also looks very African to me, very tribal kind of thing. And now I'm just, now I'm just deciding what else I can add to I wanted to put something on the left hand side because I put that sticker on the right hand side and I thought the title was was not too bad Africa's gentle giant in the making because I mean they're the teeny ones there I, it probably should have been gentle giants but I didn't have an S and beside gentle giant just fit perfectly there so I'm I'm honing in on the little one rather than the bigger little one in this layout and that's my that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so there I had already put that card on another layout so I just decided to use it to see whether that was going to work and I figured it did so then I decided that this 
three by four card was much nicer. So we're going to remove that one and put that one there. And the the story behind what I'm going to put on that speech bubble is you'll see in a minute. Yeah, these are the Studio Calico little wooden letters. I put shotgun because my kids. I tell you, okay, the one is the one is going to be 21 this year. The other one's almost 17. And every time we go anywhere, one or the other yells shotgun. So I, it, I always figured that that was just, you know, a, a young kids thing. But no, no, even my adult and soon to be adult kids still yell shotgun. So I thought that was kind of cute to put that there as this idea that the little, little elephant sort of said to his brother, hey, shotgun. And <laughs> then decided to walk along with mum. Yeah, my sense of humour gets the better of me sometimes. I was actually going to entitle this entire layout Shotgun, but I, I thought better of that because it probably wouldn't have made a whole heap of sense. This way, at least, you know, it's showing that the little one said shotgun and then you can kind of maybe guess. Well, I know what it means, so. And now I'm just putting the finishing touches. Another Brad there to fill in the space and... What else do I do? Oh, and then I just add a few of the small words there. I think I I started with the together and then I found some others which made a bit more sense to me because I like my words to make sense. So happy moment together. And I do believe I'm done. There we go. So thank you again for watching and yeah, let's see what happens next time. Have a fantastic day and I wish you well. There we go. So, cheers. Bye.